Hello, and welcome back to recitation. And I'd like to work this problem with you uh, in which um, we're going to use determinants to compute the area of a parallelogram uh, sitting in the plane. Um, so why don't you take a moment to, uh, why don't you take some time to work this out, and uh, we'll check back, and, and you can see how I did it. OK, so let's get started on this problem. Now, the first thing that we need to be careful about with this problem is uh, we know that we want to take a determinant. Um, but we need to be careful. Determinants uh, of uh, pairs of vectors make sense. Determinants of points do not make sense. So here we have these uh, four points, um, which are the endpoints of the parallelogram. And what we need to do from these four points is, is get some vectors that we can compute with. So um, over here, I have, uh, I have uh, taken the, the vectors which connect the, uh, the endpoints of the parallelogram. So you'll see that the 6, 1 here, this, this vector 6, 1 is coming from the point 1, 1 uh, in the original parallelogram. And 7, 2. So this vector 6, 1 is just the difference of 7, 2 and the point 1, 1. And similarly, 5, 2 here is the difference of our original point 6, 3 and uh, our base point 1, 1. So now that we have these two vectors, uh, the area of our parallelogram is just going to be the determinant of our two vectors. Well, we'd better be careful. It's going to be plus or minus the determinant is going to be the area. So let's compute this determinant. So we find 6 times 2 minus 5. So we get 12 minus 5 is 7. Now we got a positive number, and so uh, this plus or minus we, we take to be positive. Had we computed our uh, determinant by uh, transposing the rows here, then we might have found uh, a negative 7. And of course, we want our area to be positive, so we would just uh, ch choose 7. So uh, let's, uh, let me just go through the, the one tricky, the one tricky uh, part of this problem is the uh, original endpoints of our parallelogram are not what are important for the area. What's important is the, is the vectors which connect uh, the two of our endpoints together. And um, so we computed those uh, 6, 1, and 5, 2. And then taking their determinant gives us the area of the parallelogram. OK, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> 